Legend Blues are actually super clean. I actually, like, I used to be a huge fan of them. I used to really want a pair of these, like, expect. Hey, man, say, man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic, and today we're going to be discussing some upcoming sneaker releases. So let's get right into this video. Uh, drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Today we're going to be discussing the Legend Blues, aka Columbia Jordan 11s that are coming out in December, I believe. I'm going to have to uh, re, like, check the release date and stuff like that. So we're going to be getting all release details, all that good stuff, rumored stock numbers, all that good stuff. So. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to look up and see when these actually release the exact date. All right, bet. They apparently come out December 14th. So in about a month, literally like about a month and a week from today. So yeah, I'm actually kind of lit for this release because I'm going to get into marketing and stuff like that. But right now, we're going to be discussing these as like a shoe wise. It's like my opinion on this shoe. I used to really love Jordan 11s. Like I, do, I used to like, like the, high, uh, the high tops, especially the Legend Blues. Like I used to always want the Legend Blues. A couple years ago, I remember I caught the Gamma Blues, which those are actually going like going for a lot nowadays but i always like the gamma blues how i like the blue and the black hits so i ended up I actually caught the gamma blues not long ago then i resold them used I actually sold them for a good ticket used so they they hold they've been holding their value you know people still like uh certain like colorways you know in the highs like the jordan 11 brands the playoff 2019s i actually have a brand new pair of those who actually uh they're VNDS, no box. So if you're actually interested in the Jordan 11 breads, hit me up on Instagram. But a little promo right there. But yeah, these uh, Legend Blues are actually super clean. I actually, like, I used to be a huge fan of them. I used to really want a pair of these, like, especially the Legend Blues. Like, because they, this is like one of those, like, I'm not gonna say it's an OG model. It might be, but they've been out for a minute, you know. I'm pretty sure the last ones that came out, let me check. Okay, but yeah, the last ones that came out 2014, which makes sense. So honestly, the, a comparison of the 2014 ones and the new ones, I honestly might go with the older ones just because I don't like how this, I'm gonna pop them on the screen if I haven't already. I don't like how the patent leather, whatever that leather, that shiny uh, leather is, or if that's even a leather, I don't like how it goes so high. It just looks kind of awkward and weird, but I know it's still a clean pair. You know, that's just kind of like a little, you know, minor issue, but that's like one of the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of these newer ones, but they're probably nice. They're gonna be crispier than the older ones, you know, definitely worth buying. That's why the older ones have probably like, tanked in market like they don't probably go for that much at all right now because they know they're, they're gonna get a bunch of new pairs which aren't don't have, like you don't have to worry about them crumbling or anything like that so like the new pairs are definitely gonna be way crispier way nicer but honestly i like the older ones better just because that little leather thing but also the blues they look very similar let me see if they're the same okay it looks like the blues are slightly different it looks like the newer ones the bottoms are more icu blue and then the blue is a little bit more of like a sky blue which i always love that sky blue color with the white definitely going to be a clean pair definitely going to be a good personal i don't know if these are going to be flipping for that much when they come out honestly because i think they're going to release probably like uh, there's a rumor of like a million plus stock which makes sense because whenever they came out with the the gmp the dmps the gratitudes which look like kind of like a concord with the gold jump man i'm probably gonna pop them on the screen maybe not i don't know i might but those don't really go for that much but they still flip people still buy them but there was like a million stock whenever they came out i'm pretty sure there's like a half million or a million stock i think like a million or two honestly came out the dmps let me see how much those go for real quick yeah the dmps they don't go for that much like a 12 and a half like my size right now literally only 17 left in the 12 and a half and they're only going for around 280 retail was 230 so honestly i i see these legend blues people do like this colorway but 11s are just you know a little bit and they're kind of like jordan ones like jordan ones and jordan 11s used to be like with a really hot silhouettes well fours have always been hot but you know so obviously fours 11s ones but you know and you know a lot of the you know all the color all the silhouettes that still go kind of crazy nowadays so they come out with a cool three colorway like the, you know people are gonna buy them and stuff like that but for example, the Jordan 11s, they used to be more popular nowadays, you know, people, eh, you know, they're not the biggest fans of them, but like real sneakerheads that like are OG sneakerheads can appreciate the Legend Blues because it's like one of those like colorways that's been out for like a decade, literally. And, you know, they're just really clean. I used to really love them. Definitely like a sneakerhead shoe. I definitely like them, but honestly, my estimated resale on this pair is going to be, honestly, when they release, I'm saying, like, I don't know, I'm, I, honestly, like, release day, I feel like they're going to be at, like, 250 to 280 highest, I don't see them being, like, a $300 shoe, but they might, I just doubt it, there's just going to be a lot of stock, and right now, 12 and a half my size, there's only two left on StockX, no sales, highest bid's 250, ask is 375, so, honestly, I think my size is probably going to be going for, like, 11 and a half and up, probably is going to be going for around 280, 290. But that's, I think that's a pretty, uh, I think that's a pretty generous estimated resell because with a million plus stock, they're going to make this, they're going to release a bunch of these, just like the industrial blues. Like, I think these are going to be kind of like the Jordan 4 industrial blues, aka military blues. You know, that's like one of those colorways that's been out for decades. And, you know, when they bring them back, people like Nike knows people like them, people are going to buy them. So yeah, you know, they're going to buy them from Nike directly. Nike doesn't want to give like only like, a, like 
you know, 200,000 pairs, so a bunch of resellers to get them, and then people have to buy them from the resellers for money. Nike doesn't want to cut out. They want to cut out the resellers. They want to cut out the middlemen, which, I mean, honestly, it's kind of, eh. I guess some people like it. People that want to buy the shoes for close to retail, people like it. But, you know, people who are trying to make a buck, obviously people aren't going to like it. So it just is what it is. But for me, honestly, I really like this shoe. I might, I don't know. Honestly, nowadays, as I got a little bit older, more, you know, more matured, honestly, the Legend Blues is like, I don't know, Jordan 11s. And they're, they're just all right. I, I can't really, I'm going to be honest. I used to love them. Like, I used to like, this used to be like one of my like, grails. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but this used to be like one of those shoes that like I really wanted. But nowadays, I don't know. I might buy them just for that that but i don't know just jordan 11s in general they're just they're they're good they're a good shoe but honestly not completely my taste nowadays the only jordans i really like really like is like jordan fours and i think really just jordan fours right now honestly that's like the only jordans i have right now and sbs i'm early in sbs right now so that's really what i'm looking for right now 11 i mean sbs and fours but mainly sbs right now and honestly there has not been that many crazy sbs this year but back on the legend blues i think that's really all i had to talk about these they come out december 16th december 14th and they're gonna be in full family sizing they're gonna be you know at all retailers definitely like this is just like that nice north carolina blue which goes really clean hold on a sec okay getting back in this video i know a lot of people do like this shoe though so if you do like this shoe this is going to be a shoe that you know you're going to be able to buy for close to retail even though retail is really high 230 dollars that's a good amount of money for retail but hey they're not going to be going at least they're not going to be going for like 400 dollars like they probably would be in like 2018 2019 2020 if they released this pair and didn't release a million pairs because i mean if you're releasing a million pairs of a sneaker it's going to be really hard for them to be going for more than 300 bucks so unless it's like a like a crazy nice shoe but these are these are really nice but i think this is going to be kind of like the jordan 4 military blues that they just released really recently aka the industrial blues so if you want them you're going to be able to get them for retail or just slightly 20 bucks over so hey good for people who want to get them for the personal honestly though for me i know this is kind of like a controversial thing i remember there's a joke where someone said like if you're over 40 years old you shouldn't be wearing jordans which honestly i don't i don't think that's true at all honestly uh, and jordans are just you know they're they're like unisex for age you know anyone in the age could wear them but honestly for me i feel like this jordan 11 like this colorway specifically is like one of those shoes that honestly it's more of like a little kid it's not like a little kid shoe don't get me wrong don't get me wrong don't flame me it's not a little kid shoe but for me it's like a shoe that i really like when i was like a little kid so when i look at this shoe i'm just like eh, you know do i want to do i do i want to get it for like you know the little kids still in me or do i want to like you know pass because honestly it's not really like completely my taste nowadays but it's definitely a clean shoe definitely any age you know if you're 40 plus you can definitely wear this shoe i don't agree with the person that said that but i remember that was like a controversial thing which honestly on on certain on certain jordans i could say i could like kind of somewhat agree i could be like okay you know you know uh it might be just for like a certain age range but that's just not true honestly i know that's not true honestly any age i'm wearing jordans probably forever but all right y'all might be a little bit noisy so i'm gonna kind of like wrap up this video i did want to talk about the wu-tang dunks that kind of shock drop today so that might be in the title so but yeah back in what i was saying i definitely don't think i think anyone any age range could wear jordans obviously obviously i just want to kind of talk about that i just think it's like this shoe is just a little bit and I don't know, just high top, I don't know, I'm just not the biggest high top person, so it's not really about it being a kid shoe, just honestly, I'm not the biggest high top person no more, I was more into them when I was younger, when Jordan 1s were hot and stuff like that, but I'm gonna kind of wrap up this video, not need to, not try and come off this video out on, on a bad tip, you know, on negative, you know, on a negative tip, definitely a clean pair of shoes, I might cop these for the personal, honestly, so, hey, don't, don't listen to me, if you like these, definitely buy them, but, hey, I think that's really all I had to talk about besides the Wu-Tang Dunks dropping today, which, those were going for really high, like 800 bucks, I think they shock dropped on the sneakers app like really late but i feel like it's noisy out here y'all hold on let me check if it's noisy real quick it's not that noisy it probably is noisy right now because of the truck passing so hold on one sec all right i think that's really all i had to talk about also i want to say that the like i already said wu-tangs they dropped i'm pretty sure they dropped on the sneakers app all right i capped i'm gonna end off the video here like i said drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell all that good stuff and i'm out this be peace